Hi, I'm Ricky Ford and welcome to the Real Estate 101 podcast. Join me as I lift the lid on the real estate industry and share some great stories from behind the scenes. Like and subscribe and enjoy this episode. Ricky Ford from Geelong Real Estate Co. Real Estate 101 podcast. Very special guest today. Absolute royalty of selling uh, real estate in Sydney. Mate, James Bennett, Bell Property, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Obviously, I don't know about the royalty. I don't about I don't know about the royalty, but we'll, I'll take it. Obviously, a career low light for you at this point, but it's a absolute, <laughs> no, it's a no, highlight for me. Not at all. Mate, not at all. So, um, for anyone that's not familiar with your work, and I I can't believe there'd be anyone out there, but it's um I guess the reason we got you on the show, and as I said, is just because you're a Larrick and um you're I think you shine a light on what's wrong with the industry. There's a lot of egos, um, mm. misplaced egos. And I think it just goes to show you can have fun and be yourself and still sell fifteen million dollar properties. So um, I haven't sold it yet. <laughs> it's for, I haven't sold it it's yet. For, it's for sale. Don't don't jinx it. <laughs> don't jinx it, mate. Tell us. I've, got, I, I'm all, I've already spruced it as a potential Greenwich record. It better. It, it, you know, I still God have to damn, actually it achieve happen. it. But um, mate, so yeah, let's no. let's start with the start. I um. Mm. Yeah, tell us about the market in Sydney and obviously, mm. yeah, how you went about. Just making your own vibe and, and just being yourself yep. when there are so many egos in that. Like, how do you do that? I mean, I'm, I'm lucky I'm on the North Shore, which is a little bit different from the eastern suburbs. I assume you have something similar in Melbourne where you've got, you're sort of, you've, there's, a, there's that very, very um, exclusive area where the prices are extremely high. And then you've probably got those, you know, for us, it's hopping the Harbour Bridge and going to the North Shore. It just becomes a little bit more conservative. Yeah. Um, so I'm lucky in that. Probably my my area and my competitors are probably a, what we would consider slightly more down to earth. Um, <laughs> doesn't mean the people in the east are not down to earth. It just yeah. I think they they get caught up in the hype of of their own ego, as you say, and the the competitiveness of that market. I'm a, I'm you know a lot of my competitors are a little bit older than me. I'm I'm probably the the youngest in my area that's sort of at, at the level that I'm at, and and so maybe I'm the one that appears to be the wanker or the, or the, you know, the try hard real estate agent that um, strobe lights through properties. But that, that was probably what I picked up pretty early that I didn't want to be that. I wanted to be young and hungry and enthusiastic and energetic, but uh, I wanted to be myself. And then, um, you know, the videos I found, I was, I felt that I was probably just copying what was considered a cookie cutter video for a property video. And there's nothing wrong with that too, because I think, yeah, you, you know, still certainly a time you want to be cons- you want to be consistent. Yeah, you, yeah, that's right. You want to be considered a professional, and I think a lot of people do professional videos, and that's fine. But I find it, I find it extremely boring. Um, and uh, and I suppose the the other thing was that I I don't take myself that seriously. I'm generally making a lot of fun of other people, but also myself. I'm happy to make fun of myself, yeah. and that's why most of the videos are usually at my own expense. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, sometimes I see other people's videos and I think that's just horrendous. <laughs> but you know what? They they yeah. might differentiate themselves in a way and they're successful and that's fine. I just yeah, I think sometimes it's a bit it's a bit hard to watch. Tell us um, about or, or, where you got the confidence to yeah, just do do something uh, out of the box. Like what the was the first one? I've always, I've <laughs> always had the confidence. Um, I've always had the confidence. Um, but but to be honest, uh, it probably. You know, my business partner, I, I was his associate and um, I, w- I very much learned from him and he is very straight line, very, um, uh, I don't want to use a re- repetitive, com- consistent is a better word for him. He's just very process driven. His pitch is very, very, very s- straightforward, similar. He can repeat it on cue. Um, and I, you know, I, I learned that pitch and I, it worked very well for me for a little while, but it wasn't really me. I'm with he and I. Uh, great friends and great business partners. Um, this is Simon Harrison, obviously, but um, but we are extremely different people, and um, we pitch different now. And my pitch has evolved a lot. Um, it's not sort of a, it's not sort of a. I go through the the twenty five steps of a presentation. I'm 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 a little different to that. And um, what what sort of came from that is I could work, I worked out that I could be myself in a presentation and still win the listing. I I could not. I didn't have to go in and you know, just be a robot and do exactly these these steps to win a win business. I could win it on, you know, obviously the relationship and, and doing all the, the work and, that and goes the, in. And the yeah, yeah, but 
but you could you, well char- charisma gets you somewhere but you yeah. can lose on you can lose relying on that because another person goes in that has done the research has done all the things that they needed to do to show that they were really invested in getting the listing so I, mean, I don't want to go into pitch because you probably don't want to talk about that but that that it's it's still got to be both but I worked out I could make jokes I could be myself I could you know just be a little lighthearted and it, and it actually started working well for me and and when the when it all really happened was that cricket video that I did which was 2018 or the end of 2000 sorry might have been end of 2018 or 19 at uh, the end of 2019, Can you sorry. Just end explain, of 2019. explain what that video is that you're referring to. Yeah, so so I listed a really good house that for me at the time was about four and a half million. Uh, oh, sorry, actually, I actually didn't know it was going to be four and a half million. I thought it'd be just over four million, or four million was was a big price, and uh, had a massive backyard for us. You know, nine hundred, a thousand square meters is a big block, and it had this amazing flat level lawn and pool. And she used to use the house for magazine shoots and Master Chef and all that. They used to go to that house to do all their filming and stuff like that and she had three boys they all played cricket they were aged six to ten or six to eleven and um we sponsored the cricket and I, in, I was thinking what's Bell the biggest, Property, your office sponsored the our yeah, yeah. office sponsored the cricket <clears throat> locally and uh and i and i thought how how good a way to sell this house the best thing about it was its backyard would be if i like had some sort of clip of me playing cricket with her kids and i asked her like if I did a video with your kids in it, would you mind? She goes, no, nah, I would love that. We'd love it. And she was the right vendor to do it with because she'd already been filming stuff, you know, letting TV shows and, you know, all these lifestyle channels come over and film. So she was all right with it and her kids are great. And and so we did a we did that video where basically it, it, it's, it sort of crops me up to here and it starts off like a cookie cutter video. And, you know, this house is the best in Greenwich, blah, blah, blah. And then it just sort of, as, as it panned away, we had the whole setup. We had the stumps behind me. We had three three wiki keepers and Baxter in the background, like Baxter's in there with the kids in the in the slips. And then it cuts out and says, "I'm just going to knock these kids for knock these kids for six before we go through the property." And the kid just bowls me consecutively <laughs> like ten times, and like I'm just air swinging everything in different ways. And Baxter's then holding up the finger and like you know, I remember it was just really it super was well. Just, it was a good bit. It was a good one. It was a good one. It was lighthearted, and then 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 I'm like, you know, I'm just like, you know, forget that. Just go check out the house. I guess. Um, and from, then it's just about from from that point. I guess did, you said before you've never lacked confidence, which is obvious, but mm-hmm. more so confidence in that you could do that and it be, um, yeah, just not cringe basically. Because I think you know what I admire about you, and we've spoke about it in the past is. You, you, you can be a dickhead and have a lot of fun, but it's certainly not cringe. It, it, it looks – the production quality is high and, yeah, mm. I, I think it still achieves the purpose of what you're trying to do. You're just trying to stand out and, and sell that vendor's property. That's definitely the key as well, that um, that uh, production quality. I think I think some agents try to be funny and, and do – or do something a bit creative, but if you film that on your phone and it's edited poorly, uh, you're just going to lose people straight away. It's very hard to make it, uh, you know – striking or uh, yeah. grab their attention and that, that that's been the only reason bell property head office have allowed me to keep doing the videos the that I've done, um because the quality is there they know that the video is still a very quality video give us a guesstimate and, um, of the average spend in terms of marketing so like down here obviously even just realestate.com not like giveaway trade secrets you know give me 10 or 20 percent off but uh, so our mm. average um uh, to go on market it's like uh, just over 2000 for realestate.com.au and domain and stuff like that and then you've got yep. usually your photography videography drone stuff like that is probably like somewhere between another thousand and fifteen so like essentially a lot of our customers are spending like three and a half like and i imagine that to- sorry that total for that's, the market. that's total yeah and well, we get we get we get destroyed up here then yeah well obviously um, we're not spending a normal and not a normal budget, uh, including a drone video uh, and all your photos and your brochures and your internet and everything. Uh, let's say, let's say my area an average house is probably three to four. That's probably a stock stock standard home. Um, the marketing will be probably between nine and nine and ten, nine yep. and eight and a half to twelve. If you're throwing in a lot of in, like you know digital marketing or not or yeah um, things like that. But yeah, somewhere in that vicinity. So what's a rough and then you know the budget for the video? Like so to be. From yeah, so I use to- I use Skyline. Um, I don't know if I should give away their pricing, but generally in the area we've used up, we use we we have swapped. I use Skyline, who are great, and they 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 really they've done all the really good videos that I've done. 
Um, uh, but generally, you're looking at like a base video is around 750, 800 oh, with most decent that's, companies. Yeah, it's and that's like with no that's with no drone though. Yeah. Uh, and then you throw the drone in, they typically go up to 15, 1600. But for like so you, you, you know, for, you, for your comedy ones and that where you're there all day, like surely that's a couple of grand worth of. Uh, yeah. Look, I, I, truthfully, yeah, truthfully, I gotta be careful what I say here. But no, I I actually don't need to. Um, I don't need to spend a lot. I, I don't. I don't actually spend a lot. Uh, if I should say, I don't really spend anything. Um, the way that I do it is, I actually, and this is probably partly where I think the videos could be even better if I had more time and more money and more. Of course. Um, you know, you know, had the skills myself to do them, but the you know I get allocated two and a half hours. They usually allocate me an extra half an hour just because they know I'm going to probably do, all do that something. In, I can't believe you can do all that in in that sort of time. Well, so well, the reality is, my 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 gen my general video because we'll film a professional one. I'll do an intro and that's it, and yep. I can nut that out in about five minutes. Yeah. So I so I get that done straight away. That's easy. It's like you know, welcome to beautiful home well, in buyers, blah 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 street. James Bennett, yeah, well, buyers, James Bennett from James from exactly. <laughs> You've heard the spiel. So 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 I do that, knock that out. I've actually ripped it off and I'll... used it down here. I'll... Works well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. You're very welcome to. And then uh, and then I'll and then I'll have the the idea and we'll film that for like 45 minutes to an hour yep. and then the rest of the time would be them filming the rest of the house and doing the drone and everything like that now the golf video was probably the most time consuming that took all of three and a half hours so we yep. but we did it towards the end of the night you can see that in some of the footage it's, it's like twilight yep. but most of the time i can get the ideas that i'm doing it's not that much it looks like a lot but it's more the editors that's yep. that's the that's the nice thing that skyline do for me is they do a really basic cut for the domain of real estate.com yeah. but then they'll do my cut that i want for instagram and they just know that that's what i want so yeah oh, so i'm not actually like spending another you know thousand dollars getting that they, well it certainly it, looks at like the production quality um that represents obviously bell property and by the sound skyline like it the quality is great and as you said i think mm. that's why you can get away with it um my favorite yeah. has to be one the one where you like the <laughs> the world it's record the, the hand, hand slide the hand slide yeah it's a good one um, yeah, it's it's like sometimes the corniest ones are the funniest, but yeah. you, you got to be careful. But that one is that is a good one. And the one of yeah. um, it was when Baxter was still around, and you had the I think you were doing the Titanic and the the view out over the balcony. And yeah, it's, that's my, that's the balustrade like was, yeah. It's funny because that one for me is like top two, top two or three. But it has it was it like some obviously people like it, but it wasn't as successful as some of the more like. What was the one with you and Baxter as well? Like, um, he had the sausages and he was in the, you like skin, yeah, that was skin cells. That was, well, that was a great one because that was that was like the whole family got involved in that. So that when we sold it, we then had like she had, they had three daughters and uh, their boyfriends and stuff, and we'd sold it on auction day, and we went up to the signboard, and the whole family's on one side of the board. And I was on the other side of the board in the in my in my suit, and you know that you remember that TikTok was like the yeah. I just flicked a switch, yeah, trip, trip. and then so I I'm in the suit, we're all dancing, and then the, the switch flicks, and I'm I'm wearing an apron and a speedo, <laughs> and like they they were they were so cool about that. And that that was yeah, that was probably early days. That was like the first three or four after the cricket video where I was getting a bit of confidence that I could do. Well, anything I wanted. I'm thrilled to say I must have been like I somehow stumbled across it early days because, um, yeah, and I've I've enjoyed watching it ever since, and it's just awesome to watch you be yourself, and it gives gives me confidence, like from a um, from a bigger thing that there's like more mm. normal real estate agents out there, and you don't have mm. to be that. Like I I know you make jokes about your hair all the time, and but like looks terrific today by the way but looks good um but you know those guys that i'm are getting just, old mate <laughs> but just those guys that are obsessed with like yeah with the gym 4 a.m gym 4 a.m uh you know grind culture <laughs> all i was about shit. to say i was about to say inappropriate things i don't know how to, inappropriate I can no let, let it fly podcast, but let yeah it fly no 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 i was just i was gonna make a joke and be like you know 4 4 a.m gym 6 a.m anal bleaching and the <laughs> uh, then the fake tan goes on and then yeah, you know, it's just it is it is a lot, and I I don't know I don't I don't know who gravitates towards that. I certainly in my area, you know, if it was just all about if it was all about him, it was all, only about image, and um, you know, um, I guess the weird thing is the is the promotion of yeah, this is how many millions I sold, and it's kind of like that work that out. You can sort of work yeah. out how much money I made. It's that that like 
that sort of promotion and market wrap stuff is the stuff that I really that, don't like. To be funny, that, that, that's the stuff I. That's my other yeah. favorite video, the market wrap you did at the hairdresser. I was showing the boys before we started this podcast. I said, you yeah. got to watch this guy. He's hilarious. But um, And you're like, oh, we don't have time for that stat stuff. And yeah. it's on the screen for like less than a second. Like you can't less even pause second, it if yeah. you try. Um, yeah, yeah. So that's, like, that, that's the point. Is my no favorite part cares. about you is that like you're actually a decent performer. Like you're selling a shitload of expensive stuff as well. But you just it's more important for you to like almost be an yeah. anti-real estate agent and take the piss out of um, than it is to promote yourself. Yeah, that's kind of how I see it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, if you're not you know, I don't, I'm not, I don't want to be that. I don't also don't want people to go. Oh, I just hate everyone. Be bitter about everything. I, I, I think everyone should do what works for them. And everybody's, I, I'm still allowed to make fun of it, and I'm still allowed to. If you're going to put stuff out there, people could make, you know, people could think I'm a, you know, a clown, or I'm, you yeah. know. My, my stuff's corny or it's shit. I don't mind that. That's fine. Yeah, if, if, that's it. If, if you put yourself out there, if, you've got to be – Um, and that was one of the questions. You've got to be prepared like, for people to judge you. That was one of the things I'd said, you know, how do you handle negative comments and that because I guarantee you would get, in, you know, messages from people. But I, I, I you don't literally think, don't give I a don't, shit, do you? I don't. I, I, I don't even think I have one – uh, the the, word, the only negative comments I got it's on Lords of Property. You, you've just got to get used to handing negative commentary. So how do you? I was just I was just going to say I I actually have I honestly have never had negative uh, messages or anything like that. Yeah. The only the only time I got slaughtered was on um when that when Lords of Property posted the um hip thrusting one that I did, which is oh, off the back of is it dreams of fleet off the back, the, Yeah, it was off the back of inspired unemployed, and they did it off the back of that choco. Guy yeah. from the US. That was hilarious. As and well. <laughs> and that that was a funny video. And then but then Lords of Property posted it. And like the comments were oh brutal. But yeah, some but- of them were like a lot of people liked it. A lot of people were, you know, brutal. But that that's fine. Like you have yeah. to you have to expect it. Um on that, I guess, people picking up your uh your work, one of my the most recent things that obviously happened for you, and which was like the defining factor of like, I've got to chat to uh, Jimbo on the podcast was when you got picked up. Was it Sunrise or Morning? What show yeah. was it? Yeah, so I uh, was uh, Today Extra. It's really high quality production. <laughs> um, I shouldn't say that. They were, they were actually really great and um, they were really nice about it. They 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 reached out and um, through so a friend of mine who they just saw one of your just, They just saw your most recent video. Was it a Dirty Dancing rendition or what? what's the movie that that's a rip of? No, it's it's um full uh full loose um bloody um flash dance. Yes, sorry, flash dance. Yep. So yeah, they, they dance, saw yeah. it and obviously so, like wanted to chat to you about yeah how how it went and yeah, I had a little bit of help. I, I had a little bit of help. I have a friend that obviously likes the videos as well, and she she works there and just suggested it to them. They're like, no, we'd love to do a little bit yep. on it. And I thought, and you know, she called me and said, would you do it? I was like, no, <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. Um, but um, you know, she. She organized it and then, um, yeah, me and Steve went in. We actually were laughing about it because I, and I shouldn't, I, Steve, if he ever sees this, I don't know if he will, but. Um, what do you uh, mean? Of course Steve he will. We're, really going, got, we're going viral with this really bitch, ner- of course. He got, ner- he got really nervous uh, when the when it started. And, I, you know, he, we had sort of an idea of what the questions would be. And the first question he got was, so, Steve, you're sort of new on the scene. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about, you know, do the do these videos help sell the properties, which they definitely do of course um in some capacity in some capacity and he and he was like and you uh, know when uh, someone repeats a question back to the person who questions like he goes he goes yeah look do the can we say that the properties the, the videos help sell the properties no <laughs> but and i'm like like i i was like that's not what we rehearsed <laughs> No, he had the questions in advance. And he, anyway, he's he's awesome. Steve's like jumped right in. He's doing the he's doing the videos with me when I ask him to, and that was that was one of the funny things about Baxter. He yeah, had to, he just had obviously, to do what, he been, had to do I whatever said, I wanted. I've been following you for such a long time, and obviously, um, yeah, it was shattered to see Baxter leave. He's gone on and doing some other things elsewhere. Um, so yeah, Baxter obviously went on and did his own thing. Um, but you guys have stayed friends, obviously, and then you you knew guy. Oh, yeah. I guess what what's how do you say, mate? As part of the gig of working with me, you, you're going to have to be a dickhead on social media. How does that? It just happens. <laughs> I just ask and they do it. I, love I it. know that's all it is. It's kind of like we're doing. I mean, when Steve, came, you know the um, the Hugh Grant video, the the Love Actually one, that was his wife's idea. Wow. And uh, that was when he first started work. That was his first month working for me. He goes, oh, my wife actually watches your videos. 
and she um, she reckons you should do this. And I was like, I have the house for that. that I have the house for that. So good. Um, which it was like perfect timing. So, yeah, he, no, he gets into it. I, You know, he obviously, um, he's actually really funny. The golf video, I think he, he nails that. Yeah, that was, uh, is that actually, and stitched onto your bag, it says Jimbo Slice. Yeah, I mean, I, I cop a lot of shit for that. But Who, anyway. um, we haven't even touched <laughs> my on wife, My wife did that for me as a birthday present for everybody that well, thinks that that's the lame, lamest thing ever. I think it's great. Same. I love that. So yeah. on on Tammy, obviously, I'm not sure if people have been living under a rock, but there's a show, there's a show <laughs> called Lux Listing Sydney, um, and it uh, stars a lovely lady on there, Tammy, who works yep. with a buyer's advocate, and that is your better half. Yep. Um, so mate, how, um, how did that show kind of come about and how did she end up on there? I think, well, look, I, obviously she works for Simon, um, for a long time and, um, you know, they've sort of evolved as a team, but, uh, I think the show reached out to her, uh, uh reached out to, sorry, Simon and Gavin, yep. uh, and a few other real estate agents in Sydney. And I think it took a while for it to get off the ground. There was a couple of different, I think, uh, producers that were trying to create something like that. Yeah. Um, and I don't think a lot of, I, truthfully, I don't think a lot of agents wanted to do it Yeah, because we're very, we're very different in Australia, I'd say to America where people are really, you know, happy to sell themselves, uh, in, you know, the way that those shows do. I like, I, I didn't, I actually didn't think it would be all that I'm being honest. I didn't think it would be all that successful, but they all did pretty well actually. And I think, um, just goes to show you like, you know, just, you know, being being on television can um, can uh, increase your brand power, you know, exponentially. And I think yeah. whilst there will be some people that won't respond well to it, they obviously, I think they've actually done quite well out of the show. And um, definitely, it's feel it's feel as I said, it's filmed really well. The quality is amazing. Yep. I the, think the houses they go to are amazing. They're all good real estate agents. Like they all are genuine. I think Killers, what's really like interesting really though well. is like when um, there was a video you did ages ago with Dick Slider who were getting on the show and that was one of my favourites. You like he said something about oh there's those Western suburbs guys or whatever or that's Eastern Eastern suburbs. Guys, but, yeah. Um, yeah, I think um, I think there's people that probably enjoy the show for different reasons and to mm. me like I don't know any of them but like mm. that there's plenty of guys with like the brill cream in their hair and it's like dialed back and you're like, wow, you are what it's mm. like. I'm mm. not mm. that. I'm not that. Weird. No, no. Yeah, no. And, and not many people. I don't think everyone is that. I, I think it's hard. It'd be hard to be that every day, I reckon. But yeah, it, um, it, it doesn't. It, it'd be it'd be tiring. It's not appealing for me anyway. I, <clears throat> and I think that's why um, people who don't know you should get to know you because I think, you, yeah, you're what I love about it. It's... um. You just be you. You take the piss. You you mm. have a lot of fun. I remember there was one where um you were chatting to the receptionist at Bell and you and you were like saying about you know I think that's partly the reason Tammy's been so successful is you know because yeah, yeah. Of being my wife or whatever and it's like oh <laughs> yeah yeah no, exactly like obviously that's not the case so yeah that's the sort of stuff I would do the, I the wish really they, obvious I wish they would get you on the show though because it it would just work so well because they've got those guys that have got one certain look and then you've got an absolute like dancing machine um yeah. you know smooth talking yeah. like, bit of a dickhead um I just think yeah. it would work so well yeah I don't like as I said I like I I would be I would be reticent to actually do that show just because that's what they're looking for I yeah. think that's what they're looking for maybe they're not maybe they'll take whatever they can get they probably want other personalities in there I mean look how well Monica too did I mean she you know she she's hilarious but yeah. you know she's a bit she's a bit crazy yeah. um you know and uh and she you know people thought she was a good sort of break she breaks up yeah. the yeah. you know this the Simon Gavin Delene sort of um dynamic and uh yeah look they did sort of they did sort of throw it out there and i wasn't super i wasn't super keen to involve my business in it because uh, like for, so from a professional point of view i didn't really want to be on the show i was yeah. happy to you know do something with tammy and and there was going to be a, a period where that that was going to happen but was, COVID, did they put uh, any of your COVID wedding they put any of your wedding stuff on there or they just spoke they about put it some photos they put some yeah. photos in it and yeah, yeah they, they, the wedding they, looked they unreal by that. the way they they what they wanted to do more, but we again we didn't yeah, want just kept it. we didn't want that yeah, yeah yeah we we like yeah I mean you know we're a little bit in it like Tammy's obviously got more of a profile yeah uh, I just do the fu- I just do funny videos I don't have a I don't try to I don't have like TikTok or um 
yeah uh twitter or uh anything like that i don't i'm like my instagram videos i don't like pay money to promote them i just do them and if they people like them and they they grow a following that's fine yeah. but i don't do them i like my content actually i don't do that much content I yeah don't, i um, actually wish there was more because you kind of like when I'm, you see one yeah like, but it fills your cup for a couple of weeks and you're like god when's the next one when's the next one yeah, yeah. i like it, I, I actually get a bit of anxiety about it to yeah. be honest because when you do one, you know, it's and it's a good one. Like say the flash dance was quite a it was quite funny. I thought I yeah. thought it had a very good response. I then am like, how am I gonna what's the next thing that I'm yeah. gonna do? And it's like timing it with the right property, yeah. getting the right song, getting the right theme. The pool video filming was it. hilarious too. Like the floaties, it's the middle of winter. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I mean that, that like that one was where I genuinely, literally couldn't think of anything to do, yeah. and I was, I was getting panicked again. Again, like maybe I just got to stop doing funny videos, and yeah. then like content, I just like I'm not super, I'm not super into like. Oh, unfortunately, I do get into the vortex of scrolling through videos, but yeah. I, I like t- people that put content like they're like, you know, like hi guys, today <sighs> is open day, and you know what I like to do on open day? I like to put on a nice suit and blah blah blah, and yeah. like do content like that. I hate that. Yeah, no, nah, I hate that shit. And I like when I do it, I'm usually doing it to make fun of something else that I've seen. I never will do it genuinely and be like, hey guys, James Benny. And I like, I keep, I, I have tried a couple of times to do something like that. Like I've done a couple of property videos where I'm like, all right, I'll try and be a little bit more, just still be myself, but yeah. not make a joke. Yeah. Just be genuine about the property. It's so weird because sometimes when those one of those real ones comes on, you sit there waiting for the yeah. punchline. You're like, yes, Someone, yes, yeah. yes, that's, and then nothing that's happens. The, that, that's when I get the that's when I get the hate. That's when I get the hate messages. It's like, what the what the fuck was that? Mate. You know, where's the where's the where was the punchline? Like, there was nothing, and that, you- that 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 gives me anxiety <laughs> that, that people actually get upset about. Like, what what, what the hell was that shit? You know, love it, mate. I know yeah. you're a busy boy, so I won't hold you up. Um, what's on for the rest of the day? Golf course or? Uh, no, I did. Yep. I actually did play this morning. I've got some options Amazing. tomorrow. Um, quite a few open, so I'm looking forward to those. But yeah, no, chill day today. Jimbo James Bennett from Bell Property Lane Cove. Thanks so much for coming on Thank the show. You. You're a bloody legend. Thank you very much, Ricky. Thank- Appreciate it. Thanks, Good man. Keep doing what you're doing. See you, bro. Thanks.